Long live the idols. May they never be your rivals. D.D. Palmer changed the game. B.J. wrote the Green Bibles. So what I'm about to tell is a story of glory and sin. John Martinez, Brett Jones, and Sean Dill, my mentors. I let the story begin. It was September 2011. I'm sitting in my first philosophy one class. I'm a first quarter. I didn't really have much knowledge on what chiropractic was or what chiropractic had to offer. At that time, I actually thought chiropractic was for lower back pain. I know. I thought it was for lower back pain and we help maintain lower back pain in the most natural way possible. The teacher at that time was Dr. Sean Doe, and the first thing that he said to us, he said, clear your mind out from whatever you think you know what chiropractic is. Whatever you heard previously of what you thought chiropractic is, clear your mind out. He said, we're going to start from the beginning of what chiropractic was based on. So throughout this class, he kept talking about these two people. He kept talking about D.D. Palmer and B.J. Palmer who happened to be the creator and the developer of chiropractic. Instantly, I was intrigued. I have a strong basketball background, and what I did with basketball, I studied all the great players. I studied Michael Jordan. I studied Kobe Bryant. I studied Larry Bird. I studied Magic Johnson. And I wanted to do the same thing with these two guys. So, as time went on, I started reading the Green Books. I actually started reading the Green Books backwards with my roommate who's in the back there, John McCarthy. And every day we would text each other these quotes from the Green Books. And every time he sent me something, it blew my mind. And every time I sent him something, it blew my mind. Because they weren't just him. It wasn't just words that BJ was speaking. I, what I saw was his vision. His visions of literally shifting human consciousness to a more healthy, to a more free, to a more drugless environment. And I was totally with his vision. Things started to get a lot more deeper when I started to read his stuff on when he was in the PCS clinic. I don't know if you guys ever read that stuff, but I'm talking about the sickest of sickest people coming to this clinic. I'm talking about people being dispatched from the hospital. I'm talking about people literally laying on their deathbed coming to this clinic. I'm talking about people who are left hopeless coming to this clinic. And the majority of the people that came to this clinic got well. And at that moment, I started to put B.J. Palmer in a different level, a different category of greatness. I think everyone in this room knows that B.J. Palmer is great, agreed? Yep. Yeah. To the point now, I feel like we make these uncrossable lines, these uncrossable lines between good and great. That everything that we talk about now has to equal up or measure up to the things that B.J. Palmer did and the funny thing about it is that it never does. It never does. Somehow watching how far one man can possibly take greatness has somehow tainted the profession, I feel like. We are living in somewhat of a nostalgia reality. We are infatuated by previous greatness, and we're not making room for the greatness to come, the greatness that each and every single one of us possess in this room. That's right. Dee Dee and BJ, we put these guys in an unreachable category, forgetting that we possess this same power within inside of us. Because what is greatness? They say greatness is what separates one person from everyone else. It's their, it's their ability, it's their ability to see a vision and manifest that vision. But the funny thing about it is that those who recognize greatness in another person. Whether if they show it or not, they also obtain that same greatness. You know why? Because if you can see it in another person, you also obtain it. Right? Right. You know, I think um, the thing for me is that I'm attached. I'm attached to that feeling. I'm attached to that feeling when I didn't know much about chiropractic. And here I am reading our masterpiece saying, this is the greatest book ever written of all time. I'm attached to that feeling when I'm sitting in Sean Dale's class and he's telling me all these great things that BJ Palmer did. And I'm like, oh my God, no one can ever pass, surpass what this guy did for chiropractic. 
but we're forgetting something. We're forgetting that every people, all people, even great heroes started as the normal person before they tapped into that potential for greatness. We all have potential for greatness. All of us in this room, if we get past our nostalgic thinking, because we can't live in the past, we can't live in the past greatness. Yes, it was great. We can't live in the past of someone else's greatness. You must create your own. And here I am for six months, kind of mourning on myself because I feel like I let BJ Palmer down because I'm not doing exactly what he's doing. But I realized that I gotta make my own footsteps. And the more I started to think about it, I thought about it, I was like, man, if Michael Jordan came into the lead and knew, he, Magic Johnson was the best player in the NBA at the time. If Michael Jordan came into the lead and said, man, Magic Johnson is the best player, I'm gonna do exactly what Magic Johnson did. I'm gonna follow his footsteps exactly how he did it. He would never be the Michael Jordan that we know today. He had to find his own potential. He had to find his own greatness. And he actually ended up surpassing surpassing Magic Johnson. It's the same thing for all of us. We have to find our own greatness. So the, the big key message for everyone today is to go out and surpass the limited thinking of what's possible because you can do it. If you want to be just like BJ and get those sick people well that were in the PCS clinic, the sickest of sickest people well and facilitate that healing, you can do it. You know why? Because you've seen it before. You've seen it. You've seen the greatness. You saw the greatness in Palmer's. So you obtain that same greatness. Because when we see greatness in another, we know it. And when we feel that presence inside of us, we embody it. Long live the idols. May they never be your rival. D.D. Palmer changed the game. B.J. wrote the Green Bibles. So what you just heard was a tale of glory and sin. John Martinez, Brett Jones, and Sean Dill, my mentors. That's how the story ends. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.